Hello, dear friends. As requested, I'm going to show you a little bit of um, the stuff I have here. And in particular, I'm going to show you how this big hangar door is working. So let's get closer. Let's see it in action first. Turn on some lights. So this is a trigger that opens up. And it's open. As you can see it's pretty big, it's 37 blocks in width and it's about 16 in height. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, 16, 16. Um, let's get closer to the door sections first. Let's see how they do merge and how they do not get stuck when once closed. There. So as you can see I'm using sloped blocks, armored blocks here. And I have on each um, door segment eight hinges. I have to recolor them that bend the two sections as you have seen um, previously. I mean at the beginning. See the H. Then I have these two hinges that hold just one of the sections to this piston that then goes up here. So this is these two pistons move the these two oh, sorry I wanted to use this use these two door segments it moves them upwards and of course the same goes for the other two uh, sections but they are brought down so those hinges serves as um, a way to bend the two sections, I mean the upper section, and then these hinges do bend the two sections together as you have seen. Well, this is pretty easy to understand, I think. So I have these horizontal pistons that brings the sections towards the inside to avoid those sections to get stuck on the edge sometime it happened, so I had to implement this. So as soon as I press the command to open the door, these horizontal pistons go backward, these bend forward, and these other hinges bend them together. Of course, these merge blocks are turned off, and right in front of these sections there's nothing, it's just this edge that when the merge blocks are activated, allow to have all of these sections to be airtight because you know from this block to this other block there is no gap unless of course you have some damage in that case it might happen I'm not sure and to avoid the sections to merge together you have to use these slope blocks so again there is no surface touching but just edges these allow that when the merge blocks are turned off to separate again the sections. Now to have this part airtight on the exterior I have added I have added other blocks that you may have noticed but see I'm using the half slope and a half formal block to seal this part because if I get rid of them you see you can see through and air also has through. 
and of course as these things are sloped they do not merge I mean they do not stay together once the merge blocks are turned off another thing that I did is to place these um, blast doors all along the sides to avoid these sections when they open to, to go over the, the entrance because sometimes it happened and the section got stuck and there is also another bug that I will tell you about uh, at the end I have also replaced a few blocks with um, less doors more for aesthetic but also because when uh, I mean in some cases these merge block attract the door section too hard and it was easy to get all this section destroyed so the blast doors reduce the damage in case that happens but fine-tuning the speed and the strength of the hinges should avoid these accidents at least I haven't had the last dozen attempts I think um there's another thing when possible it's better to use shear inertia tensor because it reduces the wobbling of anything and it's made more, things more stable I've read some uh, bug report that says that at least for hinges when you use shear inertia tensor the the overall strength of, of the hinge is reduced I mean it doesn't apply the torque that is nominal so you might have to turn it off but in my case it works so I, I kept the inertia tensor on also on these hinges I just don't use them here let's see sure enough your tensor is off I do not understand completely how this works but it looks like that when you use it um, there's less wobbling and uh, inertia is shared between um, subgrades as far as I understand the end of what I want is just to avoid things to explode um, so yes let's let's see the anger door in action again let's see the detail of the pistons how they move Here. Pistons move backward, allowing to the section to bend without getting stuck. And everything moves down and there up to fold onto position. Energy low. This little sensor that is here, it works as as follows. Let's show it on the HUD. There. What? Oh, uh, yeah. I hope you can see it. It's like a ray that goes all up and detects subgrades. So it's detecting something until the sections are fully open. Then it doesn't detect and tells these horizontal pistons to push forward allowing these blocks to merge uh, this was very needed because as I told you the section got stuck on on these edges on or the bottom edges so I have to move backward the pistons but you have to move them forward only when these sections are fully extended otherwise you can cause explosions as I mentioned before, happened a lot of time, and this placement of the sensors was ideal before it was fixed on the wall, but it works much better this way. It detects exactly when they are fully opened. Uh, so this is like a variant of the same technique that was used on small grids to have uh, airtight doors or uh, cockpits on, on small grids small grid ship guns 
gone big, gone wild, I don't remember the term, but for those kind of ships was used a lot before uh, was the Sparks of the Future, I think, that introduced the small great doors for the Frostbite. I don't remember. Anyways, this is pretty much how it works. So, yeah, another little detail. The negative, that is this um, energy thingy, critical. you energy is getting critical, are all oriented outwards. All of them. So when I close, the speed is negative on all these hinges, singles for those hinges. And this is pretty helpful when you have to change all of the hinges uh, maximum speed, you know. You have to see how fast you can you can bring this thing. So this is pretty helpful because otherwise you will have to uh, you know go one by one, see which one is positive, which one is negative, and it's a pain to do that every time when you fine-tune these things because you know these have a certain size so each door section have its own weight and inertia. If you make the, the door sections bigger or slower you will have uh, other inertia and you might have to add more hinges or remove depending on the weight and also you have to change the torque. See I, I have increased a little bit to 50 mega newton. Also I'm using braking torque so uh, because of the inertia it doesn't bend too much in one direction it just holds them into position no matter the total inertia of, of the door sections that as you can imagine are pretty heavy and that's why I'm not using more blast door blocks even though those are more resistant more uh, stable because they are not deforming when damaged no energy. but uh, let's go back let's use the elevator lights I don't have lights elevator bring me back oh boy ah. to die. I know I know Almost there. Woo. Safe. All right, that's that's it. Well, let's let's show you again one more time how the door opens. Let's use um no not this. Let's use. The arm top camera. Let's remove the HUD. What was the button? Number 9876, number 6. See it in action one more time. Opening. Oh, yeah, one last thing. I have set another timer to automatically close the door because for some very weird reason if I save the game at this state when it's open and I reload I most of the time find those door sections bend in an absurd way uh, like you cannot fix it unless you remove all the side uh, blast door blocks that I mentioned before to avoid moving the section outwards and then fix it and then replacing the blocks so it's another very weird thing that it's really painful to fix every time so every after 30 seconds that it's open it just closes by itself so if I forget to save um, to, to close the hangar door before leaving the game I don't have to worry about too much because it's really a pain in the butt to to have to fix that and uh, as I'm working on in, in survival it's it's even worse so guys if you want to do something similar 
welcome, make a lot of tests in, in creative, and then you can do the same in survival once you have enough experience with that, because you don't want to waste too much blocks, too much time, and destroy the rest of the base just because uh, physics, plank, whatever you call it, are not collaborating with you. That's it. I, I hope I have explained enough about these anger doors. If you have more questions, if you want me to make something better, I will try to. And I'll be glad to show off more of my work here on Triton. All right. Um. Bye bye. See you in the next episode.